Hello and welcome back to AMBV. I'm Casper and today we're going to catch up on all the changes to the electrical system on the SR240Z project. For those of you familiar with the project car life, you realize that there are going to be electrical gremlins on any car that's had more than one owner. Now, over the years, people always think a new stereo or this or that is going to improve the car, and it almost always makes it worse and also complicates the wiring because none of it's ever done properly. These hack and slash stereo install shops typically just kind of butcher a harness together in order to get the stereo in because they'll never have to see it again. And then from then on, every next owner down the line has to deal with whatever problems come of it. A car built in 1973 is going to have had a lot of that. And as you imagine, there are splices, crimps, and just pieces of electrical tape holding stuff together all over this thing's harness. Now, the way I have the car set up is there's a brand new custom harness that is running the engine and goes to the ECU and draws its own source of power. That is completely standalone for the engine management. It is only running two accessories, which I might be stealing off of that harness, one being the electric fan, the other being the fuel pump. Now, I'll allow the ECU to still have control of it, but as part of my fixing of the body harnesses, what I would like to do is get rid of the fuse block that is serving the body harnesses and replace it with an ECU master PMU-16. Now, the PMU-16 is completely programmable, has a lot of safety features that I would like when dealing with things like the fuel pump or the electric fans. So that's why they'll probably be moving over there. And what I'll do instead is take the triggers that had been serving for those relays on the other harness and instead send them as inputs into the PMU. Now, I'll dive into the PMU more specifically in another video. In fact, that video should already be online. But if you want any other questions answered, please leave them in the comments down below. As for the rest of my body harness, I'm going to be stripping it out, deleting all the unneeded wires that are currently in it, and then rewrapping and adding in what I need for my gauges and all my other accessories, and simplifying it all before I more permanently install my dash. So this is weeks worth of work condensed down into a few minutes of time lapse. If there's something you're not seeing or you would like to know how I'm doing it, just put them in the comments down below. If you don't want to watch the time lapse, you can jump to about this time code and that should get you right past most of it. And then otherwise, I'll see you after the work's done.
So a side effect of installing the PMU-16 is that I'm also going to need to rework my headlight circuits. And I don't need to, I guess that's the wrong word, I really want to. So I don't use the factory headlight circuits right now. And so for those not familiar, the factory headlights are terrible. They pull all of the current required to run the headlights through the combination switch, which usually burns them up over time. This aftermarket harness that I'm using switched the headlights out for HIDs, put ballasts in there, and then went ahead and put relays at each headlight and then had to pull a separate set of power and then just use the factory plugs to engage the relays. It's not a terrible setup, but it's definitely not a great one. Um, right off the bat, when I first installed it years ago, I didn't like it and I wish I would have just made my own because I wouldn't have put the relays out here somewhere. I would have just put an intermediary between the factory harness and the fuse block and then let that hijack it and reuse the factory harness coming back out here to go to the headlights. So this is the wiring that came with the HID kit that was already on the car. Each headlight had essentially this componentry associated with it. The way it works was quite simple. You have a plug that goes into the OEM wiring harness for the Z. This normally would flow power directly to your incandescent light bulb that was in the headlight. That is why it drew so much amperage to the combination switch. This kit solved the amp draw problem through the combo switch by turning this from being a power source for the light bulb itself into nothing but a trigger source for this relay. This relay has a long lead that goes all the way back to a fused source near the battery that provides the actual power through the relay. So when you flip on the headlight switch, it sees the current on the original connector, triggers the relay to pull from the battery, and then sends it out this short length to the unit for the actual headlight. In this case, it goes to a ballast that feeds a Xenon HID bulb. Now, I've tested the draw, and the actual draw required for the ballast is only about six amps. So it's really low. And now that I've converted the system to use the PMU-16, I still have the two factory outputs for the headlights, the left and right, and I've converted the signal from when you turn the headlights on, instead of passing power straight through, that's been converted to just an input. So now when I turn the headlights on, a tiny amount of voltage comes in to tell me that my headlights should be turned on. The PMU turns on the two circuits for the left and the right headlight. Now, because I'm doing that, I no longer have the concern of the overdraw from the combo switch that this was solving. By getting rid of this, I can now go back to using a factory plug style connection, but I can preserve the HID unit by essentially deleting this out of the center and making myself a OE plug to ballast adapter. So a really short wiring harness. So let's go ahead and get this cut apart and see if it works.
Well, there you have weeks and weeks worth of wiring work compressed down into a few minutes. Now, I put the PMU16 details into a separate video. Hopefully you've already watched that or you'll go watch that right after this. It's pretty useful to get a better idea of why I did the PMU16 and the exact issues I ran into with implementing it and as far as why I like it so much. I'll probably be putting that in another car now because it is so much nicer than a fuse block. If you have any particular questions about this car or what I was doing or potentially something about your own project that might be using any of these components, please leave them in the comments down below and as always, I'll see you in the next video.